Levi realized that it was time to take matters into his own hands. The merman decided he wouldn't allow the humans to kill any more of his whale friends. He'd had enough. This resulted in Levi hunting the whale ships. As soon as he would spot one, Levi would swim under it, attack the hull with his golden trident, and puncture a hole into it, effectively sinking the ship. The merman would watch, with a triumphant smirk on his face, as the whalers would be forced to evacuate their precious ship and escape onto lifeboats. Over the course of the next few months, Levi managed to take out fifty whaling ships in this manner, and as he swam through the ocean he set his sights on number fifty-one. The merman moved gracefully through the water and raised his trident in anticipation. He neared the hull and jabbed his trident forward with all his superhuman strength. The hull was pierced. Water rushed inside of the ship and as air escaped the breach, zillions of bubbles filled the water like a white cloud. Levi was about to leave when several humans dressed in black wetsuits, masks, and with oxygen tanks strapped to their backs jumped off the deck of the ship and into the water, surrounding Levi in seconds. There were twenty humans in all, and all of them held weapons that were pointed Levi's way. The merman recognized harpoon guns and tranquilizer guns. Levi's dark blue eyes widened. Fuck. A trap. The divers fired their harpoons at Levi, and the merman blocked their attacks with the trident skillfully. Levi let out a roar of outrage that echoed through the water like a whale call, and swam towards one of the divers. The merman thrust his trident forward and impaled the diver right through his chest. Levi pulled back on his trident. However, because of the wetsuit and the human's ribs, he was unable to pull the trident out of the human's body. Damnation! Battling humans was completely different from battling sharks and giant squid. Abruptly, Levi felt tiny bursts of pain all over his body and looked down to see several strange darts sticking out of his flesh. Tranquilizer darts, his mind whispered. The merman let out another roar and pulled back on his trident with all his strength. His weapon was finally freed and he quickly put it to good use, blocking darts and harpoons that came sailing his way through the water. Unfortunately, his vision was becoming blurry, his head was spinning, and dizziness was overtaking him. He blinked his eyes rapidly as he tried to clear his vision. Shit. He realized that he was falling unconscious. No. My battle isn't over yet. The war has not yet been won. A harpoon with a rope attached to it was sailing through the water towards him. Levi couldn't do anything to stop it. The merman raised his trident to block the attack, but saw two harpoons instead of the one because of his blurred vision. He struck out with his trident but missed the true harpoon striking only water. The harpoon embedded itself into Levi's shoulder, and he howled in pain. As a last-ditch effort, Levi swung his trident at the divers while trying to keep them away from him, but they continued to close in, and more harpoons were sent flying his way. Levi's limbs became paralyzed. He couldn't move them and could only watch as the harpoon sailed towards his body and pierced his flesh. Blood from his wounds began to seep into the ocean, creating a red cloud. The divers didn't stop there, however, and continued to shoot tranquilizers at him. Bastards. But at least they didn't dare to underestimate his strength. So this is how it ends, then. At least I died while trying to protect my whale friends. <laughs> Levi awoke several hours later to a bucket of cold water being thrown into his face. His eyes snapped open and he gasped and sputtered as his surroundings came into focus. There was a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach as he came to realize that he was inside of some kind of human facility and was probably somewhere on land. Ugh. Levi cursed his deliberate ignorance as he looked at the strange blinking metal devices, which he was unable to recognize as computers, control consoles, and monitors. Levi had spent the last five hundred years in the ocean little to no interest in the world above the sea and the violent humans. He was a merman. He wasn't human, he... As Levi struggled against the strange metal bonds that were wrapped around his wrists, he felt something cutting into his tail. He looked down and his eyes popped. No. No, 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 this can't be happening, this can't be happening. Levi stared down at himself in disbelief. He no longer had a long, blue fishtail, but legs. Human legs. There was also this strange, heavy rod of flesh hanging between his legs. What the hell? 